الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through His infinite grace and mercy bless us with guidance to the Sirat al-Mustaqeem and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of the Amaleen of al those people who practice the knowledge because knowledge without practice is something that will come back to haunt the person who has that knowledge that the more knowledge you attain or gain the more you're responsible for your practice the more example uh, the the better example you should be and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold us accountable and may Allah forgive us of our shortcomings I mean and this brings up a statement by Imam Muhammad rahimahullah ta'ala who said in the beginning of his treatise entitled al usul al thalatha when he mentioned the four masail or issues that we should all take heed of and that he evidenced with Surah Al-Asr he said I'lam rahimakullah he said no and may Allah have mercy upon you annahu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail that it's an obligation upon us to learn four things. Al ula al ilm. He said the first thing is knowledge. We have to gain knowledge. We have to gain knowledge of the shara, knowledge of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. So we have to have knowledge before we can do anything. Al ula al ilm. Then he defined what he meant specifically by knowledge. He defined knowledge by saying, knowledge is knowing Allah. You know, is, is having knowledge about Allah. And knowledge about His Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And knowledge about the, relig the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. That means... Memorizing something from the Quran, Memis, memorizing something from the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, knowing it, understanding it, so you can implement it in your lives. Then he said, "A fanny, the second thing, al amalu bi. This is the problem, or this is what becomes problematic for many of us." is practicing that knowledge we attain. It's, it is difficult to really seek knowledge properly. Even to sit and memorize. Not everyone has the ability to, to memorize like that. And memorize the Quran and memorize something from the Sunnah or memorize the Sunnah and, and what have you. And then on top of it, implementing what they have. So those are skills that a person, some people are blessed with those skills innately. Allah has, has favored them. To be able to memorize easily. But the practice is something else. That practice is where many of us fall short. And we know the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he said, Kulu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayina tawabun. He said, All the children of Adam, they make they, they commit sins. And the best of those who sin are those who seek repentance to Allah. So we can all come back to Allah. But the problem for those who have knowledge and don't practice is even a greater affair than that. And sometimes even through their knowledge, they don't realize that they are astray. They, become, they begin to accept their sinfulness, except or justify the fact that they don't practice. And this is incredibly dangerous. Because we look to those people of knowledge as examples on how to practice. We need them 
to show the way. So that's why we want to be amilina bil ilm, amilun bil ilm. You know, those people who are practicing knowledge, practicing the sound Islamic knowledge. Then the, then the Imam said, a thalith, a dawah to ilay. The third thing is giving dawah. So if you're practicing, then you can begin to give dawah. Unfortunately, many people, they skip the first step as well. They don't seek knowledge. And then they want to make dawah. How many jama'at? Some of the famous, one, some of, one of the most famous, world famous jama'at, is, is, Islamic groups that is out there. That is their methodology. Pri, pri, primarily, they do not seek knowledge. They don't encourage people to seek knowledge, but they encourage people to go and make dawah around the world. Fisabilillah. And it's a noble goal. It's a noble goal to make da'wah the law. But you need the, the prerequisites. Those conditions of knowledge have to be in place. That doesn't mean everyone needs to be an alim or a sheikh or a big da'i or a talib al-ilm or what have you to, to say anything about the religion. But it means you have to have knowledge about what you're talking about. You can't speak without knowledge. You can't practice without knowledge. You can't do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has required of you without knowledge. So how is it you can guide people to something and you don't have knowledge of what you're guiding to? And we have countless examples of that. And this is neither the time nor the place to get into those examples. So al B with da'wah to ilay. So the third thing is da'wah. So you're gaining knowledge, you're practicing, and then you are preaching or sharing that knowledge. And then he said, Arabia. Asabr ala adafi. So after while giving dawah, it requires, and really through that whole process, it requires patience. It requires patience in seeking knowledge. Seeking knowledge requires patience. Practicing ta'atillah, obedience to Allah, and staying away from the muharramah requires patience. Giving da'wah requires patience. Maybe people won't listen to you. Maybe people will harm you. Maybe people will reject you and talk about your honor and your family and, and even affect your livelihood. All of those things require patience. And then the Imam used the the verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after Audhu Billah min Shaitan al Rajim, Bismillah ar Rahman Rahim wal Asr, In al Insana lafi Khusr il Ladina Amanu Amanu Salihati wa Tawasu bil Haqi wa Tawasu bil Sabr. Surah al Asr, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the time. Verily mankind is in a lost. Then he makes exception, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who believe. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they do righteous deeds. وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصُوا بِالصَّبْرِ And they are patient. They're patient on the truth. And they are patient. Uh, they are, وَتَوَاصُوا بِالْحَقِّ They call to the truth. And they practice patience. All of those elements that the Imam mentioned are contained in that short surah. And in a narration on Imam Shafi'i, it's reported that he said, Imam Muqbil. Imam Muqbil said it was not a a Sahih narration on Imam Shafi'i and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Rahimahumullah, Jamian. He said, Lo ma anzalallahu hujjatin ala khalkihi illa hadihi surah la kafatuhum. He said, If Allah had not given 
a proof for his creation except this surah, this surah would have been sufficient. Letting us know because that surah contained all of those elements we just spoke about. That surah contained all of those elements of knowledge. Practice that knowledge. Sharing that knowledge and being patient on that whole process. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.